press conference on the sidelines of a statewide tour, the NPCC president, Supung Murin Jamir, gave a press conference. And speaking to media people, uh, he said that he was very disheartened to see that the senior most uh, member of the Legislative Assembly made such comments against uh, uh, the killing of persons by elephants and um, he said that such uh, statements should not go on record for the Assembly. Um, he also said that he was happy that the CSO's churches and NGOs with the govern government of Nagaland uh, is not going to implement the um, FCA, the Forest Conservation Amendment Act. And he also said that uh, they are concerned, the Congress party is concerned for the edu uh, educated unemployed Nagas and where they want to also help the youth of Nagaland. Let's have a look at the press conference. I on behalf of the Nagaland British Congress Committee, we'd like to congratulate the, all the, the civil society organizations, the churches, the NGOs, and the different uh, parties and from the state who has voice to the government to see that the Forest Act 2023 and the UCC, which was placed before the state because of the efforts of the different organizations and the civil organizations and the church organizations, as well as the party, <coughs> the Nalin Karmant, and the last legislative assembly, they have resolved not to implement. They have adopted the resolutions. So we appreciate the government led by Rio, which they have understood the feelings and sentiments and for the safeguard of the state. The secondly, we were disheartened to see that senior most, the Honorable Minister of Forest and Environment, who has uttered in the assembly, playing with a human life, comparing to that wild elephant. It is totally disrespect and it is not only to the community itself, but Nagas in general, and against the sanctity of the floor of the house. And uh, such situation, any of the members, out of the 60 members, anyone has to boot forward on a point of order to expand the such kind of utterance which is totally against the human's life. The Honorable Minister has tendered his apologies, but the word which was recorded and the assembly has to be expanded along with his apologies. That kind of word should not be ended record of the assembly because it is totally against the sanctity of the floor of the house. The Nagaland Congress, we are concerned for that intellectual, the educated unemployed of our Nagas, 
or in the state, those who are the, having the gallery to lead and to bring the changes and the new dimensions, having a vision to serve the state, having all the different kinds of degrees, but very unfortunately, the state is not giving the opportunities. They are not opening the ways for the educated youth unemployed. The Congress is seriously concerning and concerned for our youth, those who are dynamic. And uh, we feel that they should not go back. They should not leave our state, but they should serve our state. Their ability, their calibre, their visions, we should admire and the state should accommodate them. If the Congress comes to the power and the Congress as of today, we are in a capacity to discuss, to go down the grassroots level and we'll see that aspirations of our youngster is fulfilled. The Congress, we have decided that the visionary leaders, the youngsters, the second line of leadership, we are going to build their career so that in future, the Nagas can have the new dimension and their developmental activities, the economic positions, not only in the garment, but even in the personal, individual capacity. They will have their own liberty to sustain their lives. Congress will definitely look forward and we have our team who are on the line led by all the educated youth employed, unemployed, the engineers, the doctorates, the, the economic economicians, all are involved. They are on the job to find out how to solve, how to bring all those problems under one banner and uh, do away the problems. So we have built the, all the youngsters to come forward, join in the Congress, having the future, looking for the future, not for himself, not for himself alone, but for all the brothers and sisters who are also struggling together with you and me. We have built that our dreams, once we get together, the Congress will be in a position to formulate the policies to accommodate all those problems along with the solutions. The garment should come forward and a very simple amendment and the resolutions. But uh, having all those uh, our acts, provisions, mostly this guided by the Article 371A. So they have uh, trying to bring in, to drop in, that without, uh, without uh, analyzing all this. But once it is adopted, in the house, the starting point has been already kicked up. Now it is the public in general and the NGOs has to pursue because the provision, the issue has already, that sentiments has already shown in the floor of the house. We all had already formed a study group. We are working on it. In the national level, the India block is already in motion. Same here in the state, we are 
approaching the like-minded parties also. And definitely talks are on, discussions are on, and at an appropriate time we will let you know. The only thing is the undercurrent is strong. People are literally fed up of the communal politics of the regional parties playing to the gallery of the BJP. And that is where Congress in Nagaland, we see an advantage and we see an opening.